Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I love USB. It's uh, great, you know, when it works. I, I, I love just about any kind of USB device, as long as I can say it, uh, that uh, works well in the situation. Plug and play. That's, that's the way it, it is for me. Uh, no muss, no fuss. Certainly beats the days of, uh, well, I remember... I remember dealing with the days before USB, and let me tell you, it wasn't that much fun. Got an email from Lewis Gunter, business development over at Sewell Direct. That's S E W E L L Direct.com. And the reason why I mention that is because this is a website that sells uh, hardware solutions. And Lewis writes that he saw of the video that we had done regarding an external video card solution. Because uh, what we were talking about in this particular video, it's been a while. Um, if you've got a video card on your computer that only has one connection and you wanted to have two monitors on your computer, well, you need to buy a second video card, which can be expensive and, and somewhat of a headache. Or if you have a video card that has two connections on it, but you wanted to add a third, well, again, you'd need to add another video card, which is, again, problematic if you've got a third monitor, but you'd only have so many ports. Well, uh, you know, we talked about these, uh, you know, external video card solutions but now uh, I guess they've come up with one that is much more affordable certainly a lot smaller and, and uh, uh, I think a, a lot more uh, well universally compatible shall we say uh, since it's driven on a USB cable Lewis, instead of, he says, instead of talking your ear off, I'm gonna, I'd like to send you uh, an eval unit or two to get you uh, get your idea about what you think about this and this is available. It's a USA, USA, USB display adapter available from Sewell Direct. Uh, this is, I guess, retailing at one forty nine ninety five. Now, this is where it gets neat. This particular model is a DVI connection, uh, so it'll support a DVI monitor up to sixteen hundred by twelve hundred resolution. And you plug this end into your USB port, and any open USB port and this end into your monitor, your monitor cable, and bingo, after you install the software, it comes with a little disc, and it says it's Vista compatible, uh, then that next monitor will become your additional monitor, the one that you plug into this adapter. But let's say you don't have a, a, a DVI or a DVI monitor or DVI cable, it also comes with an adapter, so you can plug it, the DVI adapter into this, and then, as long as you put it in the right way, use a VGA cable. And again, using an open USB port. And it, it, according to this documentation, uh, I believe you can support up to, it says supports up to two USB display adapters working simultaneously. Uh, you can add or remove a monitor without rebooting. Uh, all you need is pretty much an uh, open USB port, the, the, the second monitor. And, and you're good to go. And I, the, the issue that I have is, well, number one, my the monitors that I have run a little larger than 1600 by 1200, and I, I don't have any extra monitors laying around, at least at this point in time. However, in the near future, I'm going to be giving this a shot in, in real time as I add a, a third monitor to uh, this system. Yes, I'm thinking about adding a third monitor to my gigantic desktop. Bottom line, this is a fantastic solution. DVI and VGA uh, supporting a, an amazing resolution. I'd be surprised. How, okay, just of the people in chat room right now, how many of you guys have a desktop that's even larger than 1600 by 1200, if it's even that big? Shout out your resolution of, of, of your screen, not your New Year's resolution. That's another video. What screen resolution are you running in? Oh, Furo, of course. The IT professional, the original, 1920 by 1200. 1280 by 1024. Yeah, I think it's average. 10, 1280 by 1024. I'm seeing a lot of those. Uh, Snake Eyes has got 1680 by 1050. 1360 by 1024. So, you know, those are pretty... I haven't seen any 800 by 600s. That's a good sign. Uh, but a lot of them seem to be under um, 1600 by 1200, which this USB display adapter uh, certainly accepts. So don't think you got to add a, a, a bigger video card uh, or a better video card. There are external solutions available that are compatible with what you've already got. Uh, this is, I would say, for 150 bucks, a good solution rather than spending, let's say, 
much more than that and, and taking up the energy and not having the ability to take this and move it around. So if I wanted to add, take this and connect it as a third display or a second display, if I didn't, only had one on my desktop, I could do it there. Or I could plug it into a PC because I don't think, since it needs drivers, I don't know how well it works on OS X because it doesn't list OS X as being supported at least on this particular documentation. But the idea is, is if you've got, a, uh, let's say, uh, an, a USB port on your laptop, but it only supported a VGA connection, now your laptop can have a DVI monitor connected to it. What's not to like? It doesn't look like a video card and it ain't that complex. USB goes in here, monitor goes in here. Um, that's cool, that's very cool. So uh, Lewis, I appreciate you sending this uh, because I know people have asked me about this kind of situation, wanting to know how they can extend their desktop to a second monitor uh, when their video card options were limited. Uh, and now I can say, well, you can get the USB display adapter uh, from Seawell Direct. Uh, and uh, certainly, the guys got, uh, on the website, they have uh, tons of other things. I mean, I don't want to make this a plug for, for, for their site, but the guy did send me a USB display adapter. So I owe him at least that, right? Um, they also have something that I, I was going to pick up anyway, um, a USB to PCM CIA adapter. Uh, they've also got, looks like, portable cellular Wi-Fi router. That might come in handy when I'm traveling. USB to parallel adapter. Uh, USB to PS2 keyboard and mouse. Uh, let's see here, HDMI. they got tons of stuff. USB, KVMs, GPSs, FireWire, DVI. Boy, they got more acronyms than you can shake a stick at. In fact, I think they have a stick on page four if you want to stick, if you need a stick. Uh, so uh, thank you for paying attention to the videos we're doing and certainly validating uh, what uh, we are trying to do, and that is connect people with solutions and uh, what they're looking for. Um, I'd be curious to know, of everybody who's watching this video, is this a solution you have been waiting for, not just paying me lip service? Had you been looking for something like this, let me know. Uh, Chris at Perillo.com, just because uh, that's my email address. I, I want to know if this is the right thing to be talking about, this kind of stuff. Um, or if we should just be sticking with you know regular old boring videos that don't involve hardware uh, of any kind. Uh, let me know what you think, um, and uh, maybe you've got a top five USB tips that you want to pass along. I'd love to read them uh, aloud uh, back to the community. Maybe you have uh, you know of other hardware we should be taking a look at. Again, my email address is chris at and uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, the people who are asking or who I was asking about uh, their video resolutions, they're chatting live and uh, talking, because this is what we do on a daily basis. It's not just the videos that we record and upload to the internet. We are actually streaming this video out live over the internet right now. Right now. Not, maybe not just this video, but we're streaming live video and audio out on the internet. And uh, let's see here. I can add, if I ask people to type in um, universal, Ask them to type in universal. They will respond. The chat's going to take a couple seconds to catch up. And I'm, there we go. Told you. It's live. Uh, it's not, nothing scripted here. It's all live. All of it. And you can join us if you like talking about technology, hardware, software, the internet. Maybe you've got questions. Maybe you have answers. We like the people who have the answers because I certainly don't have all of them. I just like talking about this stuff. Do you? Well, then do yourself a favor and do us a favor. As long as you're a nice person, stop by anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.